Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ashland Middle School for Ashland Legion Baseball, as today they take on Woburn Post 101. Connor Donovan on camera, Tom Nappy on the call as Andrew Keim is set to deliver the first pitch to Matt Coughlin. And we will start off with strike one. A nice day here at Ashland Middle School. Temperatures in the lower 70s on this July summer day. As this is up the third base side and foul. That'll make it 0 and 2 on Matt Coughlin. Woburn off to a 2 and 9 season so far. While Ashland post 77 picked up a win just yesterday by way of the forfeit from Bill Ricca. Not enough players were available for Bill Ricca. That one down low, one and two. Ashland now 2-10 and one on the season. Matt Coughlin, the third baseman for Woburn. As he awaits the pitch, wind up and the pitch. And this is up the third base side. Slow roller on the grass, fielded by Messier throw across is going to be off the mark and Coughlin will beat it out. A leadoff single to start things off. And that will bring up the next hitter as Brian Gavasto steps in, the pitcher. Andrew Keim set to deal. Runner on first. As this is hit up the right side, that'll drop in for a base hit. Lead runner held up at second. So Gavastos aboard with a single. Coughlin up to second. And that will bring up the catcher. And we just got the lineup just in time for the game from Woburn as a couple of players were late Getting in here, a long drive over from Woburn, of course, dealing with the rush hour traffic as Mark Gatcomb steps to the plate. The catcher. Two on, no outs for Woburn. We'll get the Ashland Diamond in just a moment as this is on the infield grass towards the first base side and they throw to second for one. So Gatcomb will reach on the sacrifice, Coughlin pushes up to third. Gavastos cut off. So three to six force out on that play. And that'll bring up the cleanup hitter with one out and two on. It is runners at the corners for the center fielder, Graham Bolster. As the runner from first taking off, throw to second is going to be just late. And that was awfully close, but Gatcomb with the stolen bag. Let's take a look at the Ashland Diamond. Andrew Keim on the mound. His battery mate is Zach Jacobs. Scott Babineau at first, Ronan Bates at second. Michael Krupe at shortstop. Mike Messier, the third baseman from left to right. Jake Obed, Mitch Porter, and Samir Sharma in right field. As Kime set to deliver from the stretch, we'll get a time call. Runners on second and third now with one out. Wind up and the pitch just upstairs. And Kime set a pretty good uh, Legion season for the young Ashland Post 77 team. At times though, yes, been known to struggle a little bit in the early goings of the game. That pitch up high, two and zero. Oh. You're watching Ashland Legion Baseball, a presentation of WACA TV in Ashland, as well as HCAM Television in Hopkinton. Wind up and the pitch, swinging strike. Two and one on the cleanup hitter. Set to deliver. It's fouled away. Two and two. Go, 
time from the stretch. He deals, and this is fouled away, third base side. Count will remain two and two. He deals, there's a swinging strike. And that is out number two, as Bolster strikes out. Will Mills, the left fielder, will step in. As this is hit up the middle, over to the shortstop playing deep on the infield dirt. Throw to first, and they get him. Nice play by Krupe. Mills goes down via the 6-3 to three ground out. We will head to the bottom of the first. It's a scoreless game here at Ashland Middle School. Set for the bottom of the first inning. Ashland post 77 coming up for their first time today. Let's take a look. At the Ashland lineup, Jake Obed, the left fielder, starting things off. The center fielder, Mitch Porter, batting second. Sean Babineau, the first baseman, batting third. Zach Jacobs, the catcher, hitting cleanup. Mike Messier, the third baseman, hitting fifth. Ronan Bates, the second baseman, hitting sixth. Andrew Kine, the pitcher, hitting seventh. Michael Krupe, the shortstop, hitting eighth. And Samir Sharma, the right fielder, batting ninth. As set to deliver... The first pitch to Ashland hitters is Brian Gavastos. And just a slight pause here by the umpire as now we are ready. Obid steps in. Gavastos awaits the sign. Wind up and the pitch. In there for strike one. Brian Gavastos at a Woburn High School. Set to graduate in 2018. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is on the third base side. Fair territory on the infield grass. Throw to first. Great throw by Gavastos for the first out. A one to three ground out for Obid. That'll bring up Mitch Porter, the center fielder. Let's take a look at the Woburn field. The battery mate for Brian Gavastos is Mark Gatcombe. Over at first base, Sam Cabot, second base, David English, shortstop, Sean Mahan, third base, Matt Coughlin. We'll get you left to right after this pitch. Wind up and the pitch, swinging strike. Some power on that pitch. From left to right, Will Mills, Graham Bolster, and Coleman began for Woburn post 101. Wind up and the pitch. Just outside, one and one to Porter. Ashland with a busy week this week. Two games after this this week. And they got a break on Sunday. As there's ball two. As Bill Ricca ended up having to forfeit due to not having enough players. It would have been a four-game week otherwise. So a little bit of a rest of the arms for post 77. Wind up and the pitch. That's fouled away. Two and two. Gavasto set to deliver. And this is foul down the third base side. Count remains two and two. Wind up and the pitch. Hit in the air, a high fly ball on the left side. Ranging over to make the catch is the shortstop. A bit of a collision with the left fielder, but it looks like he did come up with it. A great play by Sean Mahan. Almost a bad collision out there with left fielder Will Mills. But Mahan coming up with it. Second out now for post 77. 
That'll bring up Sean Babineau, the first baseman. Burn post 101, led by head coach Barry Doherty. Ashland post 77, led by head coach Derek Johnson. The lineup and the pitch. There's a strike. And Ashland, certainly a young team, but they're getting some very good experience this year. As that one's fouled away, 0-2, and, and you'd expect throughout the next few years for them to keep gaining more and more experience and eventually be the playoff threat they were the last couple of seasons. Leg lift and the pitch down low, one and two. Gavosto set to deliver. Leg lift and the pitch. That's fouled away. Good battle here between Babino and Gavastos. Another foul ball there. Babino following that one off his foot. Get a little discussion between Mark Gatcombe and Gavastos. Gavasto set to deal. Just high. Wind up and the pitch. Another one up high, two and two. And this is hit in the air to center field. Bolster ranging back, he'll make the catch. And that is the third and final out of the bottom of the first. To the top half of the second we go. It's a scoreless game here in Ashland. HCAMP Sports is supported by our viewers and by WPC Pest Control. Don't tolerate, eliminate your pest problem. You can find them online at WPCPest.com. Top half of the second inning. Woburn set to come back up to the plate. The six hitter, Sam Cabot, stepping in, the first baseman, as Kime is set to deliver. Swinging strike. As the lefty steps back in. Check swing, and did he hold? He did, one and one. Time deals, swinging strike, one and two. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away. Count remains one and two. This game getting a little bit of a later start today. 6.15 scheduled start time. Wind up and the pitch. Up the middle. That's off of Kime and Cabot running to first. He'll reach. No play on it. And that's tough to call that an error. That just kind of took an awkward bounce. I'm going to score it a single. It'll bring up Sean Mahan, the shortstop. Mahan 
Hand steps in. Takes ball one. One on, no outs in the top of the second for Wuburn. Runner leading off of first. Down low, two and O. Oh. Wuburn had two reach in the first, but were unable to come up with any runs. That one down low, three and O. Oh no, they're going to call out a strike. Excuse me, two and one. Kime from the stretch, runner leading off of first. That one's low, three and one. Good thing about the post-77 schedule is they're home all week long. They got all their away games over with for the season as this is hit in the air right to shortstop. Jumping up, making the catch, throw to first, not in time, but a great play by Krupe. One away, David English to the plate. As the second baseman will step in. The umpire is now going to talk things over. Could be if the runner at first was safe, and they are confirming that he was. But that was certainly an on-the-ball play there by Krupe. Runner leading off of first, Kime from the stretch. That one just in there for a strike. Kime looks over at first, now set to deal, and now will swing back around towards first. Runner slides back. Wind up and the pitch. Check swing foul. O and two. Runner leading off of first, Kime from the stretch. And there's strike three. Gets them looking. Two away. The second strikeout for Kime this game, and that'll bring up Coleman began the right fielder. He deals. There's a strike. Runner leading off of first, Kime set to deal. Inside, gets away from Jacobs, and Cabot will advance on the wild pitch. One and one. Runner on second, two outs now. That's down low. Good defensive play behind the plate by Jacobs. Two and one now. From the stretch. Inside, three and one. Leadoff hitter Matt Coughlin on deck shall begin reach. And this is hit in the air over towards left center. That is going to drop down. Runner being waved home. The throw in is going to be cut off, and it's 1-0 Woburn. Sam Cabot scores on the RBI single by Coleman Began. That'll bring up Matt Coughlin to the plate. Runner 
runner on first. Two outs, one in for Woburn. That pitch inside, one and oh to the righty. Kime deals down low. Two and oh. Wide up in the pitch. That one low as well. Three and oh. Set to deal. Inside. And good for a strike as it cuts the corner. Three and one now on Matt Coughlin, the third baseman. And this is up the middle. Takes a couple hops on the infield grass. Fielded by the second baseman. Throw to first, no problem for Bates. But Woburn does get a run as we head to the bottom of the second. It's one to nothing, Woburn. Four, five, and six do up for Ashland post 77. Zach Jacobs, Mike Messier, and Ronan Bates to face Brian Gavostos. One nothing lead for Woburn. Wind up and the pitch inside. One and O. Oh. Awaits the sign and now deals. And that is up the third base side. Glove by the third baseman. Throw to first in time. Five to three goes Jacobs. Messier to the plate with one out. Set to deal. There's a ball. One and O. Oh. Wind up and the pitch. That one just high. So steals. There's a strike. Two and one. As Messier, the former Hopkinton Hiller, steps back in. And this is hit in the air. A high fly ball over towards second base in the shortstop. Sean Mahan will range over and make the catch. Two outs, and that'll bring up Ronan Bates. Wind up in the pitch. There's a strike. He deals just high, one and one. Leg left and the pitch, check swing, and that's gonna be strike two. One and two count on Bates. Bosto steals. That's in the dirt. Two and two. Wind up and the pitch. 
And there's strike three. That'll do it. They go down one, two, three in the bottom of the second. To the top of the third we go. Woburn leading Ashland one to nothing. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Weston Nurseries, located at 93 East Main Street. Visit their garden centers in Hopkinton or Chelmsford and discover limitless possibilities to create your backyard paradise. You can find them online at westonnurseries.com. First pitch of the top of the third is inside. That's ball one to the pitcher, Brian Gavastos. Keim set to deal. And this is hit in the air to right field, and that is going to drop in for a hit and get by Sharma rounding first. The throw over to second is going to be in time to get Gavastos. What a great throw by Sharma. So you can score him a single and thrown out heading to second. It was just a tremendous throw. It looked like a disastrous play at first as it got by Sharma. But he certainly made up for it there with a great throw right to second base as Gatcomb takes strike one. Time deals down low. Gavostos knew he was out too. Just ran back to the bench soon as he slid into second as that one's fouled away. One and two. Just a flawless throw on that play. Time deals, and this is on the ground, third base side, and it is going to be foul. Two, three, and four this inning for Woburn. Time deals. Just low. Andrew Kime graduating Holliston High School this year. As this is up the third base side, and Messier took a dive at it. It looked like it went off a of Messier and then off a of Krupe. So Gatcomb will reach for the single, and now that'll bring up Graham Bolster with one on, one out. Bolster struck out his last time up in the first inning. Wind up in the pitch. In there for strike one. Runner leading off of first as Kime set to deal. And that's up high. Runner taking off from first throw to second. Is not going to be in time, according to the umpire, Gatcomb with the stolen bag. Wouldn't mind seeing a replay of that one. That one was very close. Bolster steps back in, swinging strike, one and two. Time deals, fouled away. Set to deliver, just low.
two and two. And this is hit high in the air on the right side. It is at the moment in fair territory and handled by Babineau who backpedals to make the catch. Two away. Now Will Mills, the left fielder, to the plate with a runner on second. There's strike one. Time from the stretch. Upstairs. One and one. Runner leading off of second. Now one inside, two and one. Time from the stretch, fouled away. Two outs, one on second. Mills set for the 2-2 pitch. Swinging strike, and there is out number three in the top half of the third. It's one nothing, Woburn as we head to the bottom of the third inning. Bottom of the third inning, seven, eight, and nine due up for post 77. Andrew Keim, the pitcher, Michael Krupe, the shortstop, and Samir Sharma, the right fielder. As Brian Cavosto set to deliver. First pitch, ball one. Wind up and the pitch, just outside. Cavostos delivers, upstairs, three and O. Oh. Wind up and the pitch. There's strike one. Leg lift and the pitch. Strike two. Full count now on Kime. Vosto steals, swinging strike, and Kime goes down swinging, one away. Michael Krupe to the plate. Krupe out of Ashland High School, due to graduate next year. As the lefty steps in. Wind up in the pitch. Inside, ball one, one and oh. Wind up in the pitch. On the ground, first base side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will take it unassisted, two away. Samir Sharma will come up to the plate.
Vostos gets the sign and deals. Breaking pitch for ball one. Nice drop on that breaking ball. Cavosto steals. And this is foul down the third base side, one and one. Wind up and the pitch. Strike two. Vostos delivers, and this is a liner right to the second baseman, and they go down once again for the third time, one, two, three. We will head to the top half of the fourth, Woburn leading Ashland, one nothing. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Angels Garden Center, located at 65 School Street. You can visit them online at angelsgardencenter.com. Top half of the fourth inning, a 1-0 lead for Woburn as Kime set to deal. Swinging strike by Sam Cabot, the first baseman. Cabot singled and scored the only run of the game in the second inning. Scored on an RBI single by Coleman Began, the right fielder, that pitch up high. Six, seven, and eight hitters due up for Woburn here in the fourth. Wind up and the pitch, swinging strike. Sun starting to go down here at Ashland Middle School. A 6.15 start to this one. Just short of an hour of playing time here as that one's fouled away. Count remains one and two. For those of you just joining us, you're tuned into Ashland Legion Baseball on WACA TV in Ashland or HCAM Television in Hopkinton. Connor Donovan on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. As that is fouled away, third base side. Count remains one and two. Lefty awaits the pitch. And this is up the middle, took a hop on the infield grass, over to the shortstop, throw to first, great throw by Krupe, one away. San Sean Mahan, the shortstop due up now. He steps in, and this is up the middle. This is going to get by the reach of Krupe, and Mahan will be aboard with a single. David English will come up to the plate, the second baseman. Time deals. Just high. Runner with a slight lead off of first. As that one is in there for a strike. One one pitch from Kime. Up the middle on the ground, glove by Messier, throw to second for one, now the throw to first, and will just be a little bit late, but they get the lead runner. So English reaches on the five to four fielder's choice. Two away, Coleman Began will come up to the plate. Good play there by Messier, throwing from his knees on that one. One and oh. Okay. 
Wind up in the pitch. Just low. Two and oh. Runner leading off of first. Time deals outside. Now, not quite sure if the umpire called that a strike or not. Might have reached the corner. Kind of had an awkward signal there. That one inside. Corner for a strike. Time set to deliver. There's another strike. Time deals, fouled away. Wind up in the pitch, and that's fouled away. Set to deliver, and this is foul. And it looks like Began got a piece of himself on that one. So he'll walk it off. Wind up in the pitch. Just low, and that's ball four. Began, we'll get the free pass. English moves up to second. Two outs, two on, and a leadoff hitter, Matt Coughlin, to the plate. Big opportunity here for Wuburn. Kime deals. And that takes a hop on the infield dirt past the reach of Kime, and it looks like everyone's going to be safe. So a single for Coughlin, very awkward bounce there as English pushes up to third, began up to second. And Brian Gavostos will come up to the plate with a chance to help his own cause. Bases loaded, two outs. Time deals, down low. One and oh. Wind up in the pitch. Up the middle, glove by Kaima. Great defensive play. He'll march it over to first, no problem. Nice job by Kaima on that one. A one to three ground out to retire the side despite the bases being loaded. Ashland gets out of it with no harm done. It's one nothing heading to the bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth, top of the order due up for Ashland Post 77. Woburn loaded up the bases in the top of the inning, but a nice play by the pitcher Andrew Keim helped Ashland get out of the inning with no harm done. The wind up and the pitch from Gavostos is low, one and O. Oh. Obid grounded out and is only at bat in the first inning. Gavoso steals. There's a strike, one and one. Jake Obid, Mitch Porter, Sean Babineau do up for Ashland this inning. Wind up in the pitch. Just low. Post 77 trying to find some offense here in the last week of the regular season. It's been a tough go for the young bats. 
That one just outside. Three and one to Obid. Devosto steals. And Obid draws the walk. So the leadoff hitter on for Ashland. They'll bring up Mitch Porter to the plate. That's four straight balls there from Gavostos. Runner leading off of first, Gavostos from the stretch. Up high, and Gatcomb, the catcher, looked towards first as Obed was leading off. Gavostos from the stretch, checking at first, runner back safe. Check in once again, and they almost got him this time. Obid certainly a threat to steal. A lot of speed down the line. Wind up in the pitch. Just low. 2 and 0. Oh. Bostos from the stretch, checking at first, runner back safe. Pretty good pickoff move from Brian Gavostos. Gavostos steals, down low. It's now 3-0 and oh to Porter. Gavostos struggling a little bit this inning. Seven straight balls. And there is eight straight balls, two straight walks. Obit up to second, Porter down the line of first, Sean Babineau to the plate with two on, no outs. And we will get a discussion here on the mound as Mark Gatcomb the catcher will head out to try to calm down Gavostos as well as the head coach for post 101, Barry Darty. You wonder if he just uh, ran out of gas going into this inning. We'll see. Gavostos, you got to keep in mind a younger pitcher too. Set to graduate Woburn High School in 2018. So only about 16 years old. Both runners leading. The bunt pulled back and that is ball one. Both runners will go back to the bags as Gatcomb looked down the line. Nine straight balls now from Gavostos. Checking at second and nearly threw that one away. Good play by the shortstop, Sean Mahan covering. Wind up in the pitch, just inside, 2 and 0. Oh. Big opportunity in this inning for Ashland. Leg lift in the pitch, inside the 11th straight ball from Gavostos. 
Well, at this point, if you're Ashland, just let him pitch and walk him. Having trouble finding the strike zone. And there is another ball. I apologize. There's actually a strike in there. That one is going to be ball four. So that is 12 out of 13 pitches that have been balls from Gavostos. And he has walked the bases loaded. As now we'll get a uh, discussion here with Sean Mahan coming over from shortstop. Cleanup hitter Zach Jacobs stepping in. Bases loaded, no outs for Ashland. If they are going to put some runs on the board, this is where they'll do it. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. 0 oh and 1. Jacobs grounded out his only time up in this game in the second inning. It was all 1, 2, 3 innings up until this one. And this is hit in the air. That is going to drop into left field. One run being waved around, and now another right on his tail as Obed and Porter will both score. It's two to one, post 77, a two RBI single for Jacobs. Babineau moved up to second. Jacobs over at first. Two one Ashland, Mike Messier stepping in. Still no outs in the inning. Line up in the pitch. Outside, 1-0. and oh. Checking at second, and, and the runner is back. English dropped the ball after it landed in his glove. Runner stays put. From the stretch, upstairs. Well, a nice momentum shift here for Ashland. Would certainly love to rack up some wins. Lined up and the pitch. And there was a few unlikely scenarios that actually would allow post 77 to be a contender for that last playoff spot. Lay lift and the pitch. And that is going to get through for ball four. And that is the fourth walk of the inning for Gavostos. Bases are now loaded once again with no outs. Ronan Bates set to step in. And Gavostos just struggling in this inning. Line up and the pitch. And that is a called strike. Oh, and one. Bates struck out his only time up in the second inning. Upstairs. One and one. Line up and the pitch, just outside. A two RBI single from Zach Jacobs, which scored Obit and Porter was the first post 77 hit of the game. Leg lift and the pitch, down low, three and one. 
Well, if he walks, another run scores for Ashland. Lay left and the pitch. Turns away the hitter, and that's ball four, and another post-77 run will score. Babineau comes around. It is now 3-1 to one Ashland. Jacobs up to third, Messier to second. We'll get a discussion on the mound here. As the catcher and shortstop will come out to try to calm Gavostos down. Bases loaded, still no outs. Andrew Keim set to step in. And so far, no sign that head coach Barry Darty will take Gavostos out. Line up and the pitch. Breaking ball up high, one and oh. Well, Ashland did get their, technically their first home win yesterday due to forfeiture by Bill Ricca. But now they have an opportunity to get their uh, first win from actually <laughs> playing the game here at home this season. So that one's fouled away, one and one. Time awaits the pitch. Vosto steals. Up high, two and one. Well, Gavostos has certainly thrown a good amount of pitches this inning. Leg lift and the pitch. That one outside. Three and one. I am holding my bat unless this is a very good pitch. And there's ball four, another post-77 run will score. Zach Jacobs comes around. Messier up to third, Bates up to second, Michael Krupe to the plate. And still no sign that Gavostos is coming out of the game. And still no outs in the inning for Ashland. As the lefty steps in. Inside, 1-0. and oh. I don't know what Woburn has for arms left, but I don't know if you leave him in the game after walking several hitters in this inning. There's another ball. And it's been six walks in the inning for Brian Gavostos. And he also gave up that two RBI single. That one up high, three and oh. Chance to walk in another run here. There's a strike. If I'm Krupe, I'm still holding the bat here. There it is. Ball four, seventh walk of the inning for Gavostos. Mike Messier comes around to score, and now the head coach for Woburn will indeed head out to the mound, Barry Doherty, and we'll see if he takes the ball here. Ashland has batted around, Samir Sharma do up. Bases loaded, no outs. Five runs in for Ashland. And we will have a pitching change. Matt Coughlin will move over from third base and take over. And I believe Gavostos will go to third. On a tough break for Gavostos. Started off the first three innings with three straight one, two, three innings, and then just kind of lost it here in the fourth. So the pitching change is in for Woburn and post 77 will continue batting after we come back 
You're watching Ashland Legion Baseball on WACA-TV in Ashland or HCAM Television in Hopkinton. Samir Sharma stepping in against the new pitcher, Matt Coughlin, and he'll take strike one. Tough break for the starter, Brian Gavostos. Seven walks in this inning. Five runs in for Ashland. As there's strike two to Sharma. Obid led off the inning, walked. Mitch Porter then walked. Sean Babineau then walked. Then a two RBI single from Jacobs. And then Messier walked. There's a strike. And then Ronan Bates walked, and that drove in a run. And then Kime walked, that drove in a run. And then Krupe walked, but Sharma just struck out. That's the first out. Of the bottom of the fourth. That'll bring up Jake Obid. Down low, and it gets away from the catcher. Ronan Bates trying to score and will. Bates comes around on the wild pitch. Climb up to third. Krupe up to second. 6 1 Ashland. The 1-0 pitch to Obid, upstairs. Coughlin deals, and this is hit into right center. That'll drop into the shallow outfield. One run in, another run being waved around. The throw in is off the mark. Two more in for post 77. Kime and Krupe both score. And Jake Obid is going to be safe with the two RBI double. That'll bring up Mitch Porter. 8-1 Ashland. They have matched their season high four runs. That one up high, 1-0. One, oh. one out in the inning, runner on second. Coughlin deals. And this is hit high in the air to the right side. Is anyone going to get there? Yes. But the runner from second will tag a good throw over to third. And the runner beats it out. Obid with a nice slide. Mitch Porter flies out to right, two away. Sean Babineau will step in. Well, later start time in this game, and you have to think, light's certainly going to be an issue if this game goes too much past eight o'clock. Already 7.38 now as that one's filed away. A long extended bottom of the fourth here. Eight runs in for post 77. Coughlin from the stretch. And this is hit in the air. A high fly ball over to right center. And that is going to be snagged by the center fielder, Graham Bolster, for the third out of the inning. But post 77 takes the lead and then some as they score eight runs heading to the top of the fifth. Ashland leading Woburn eight to one. HCAMP Sports is supported by our viewers and by Webster First Federal Credit Union. You can find them online at WebsterFirst.com. Top half of the fifth, an eight run bottom of the fourth for Ashland as the first pitch to the third hitter in Woburn's lineup, Mark Atcombe, the catcher, is fouled away. 0 oh and 1. Kime now in line for the win. Wide up and the pitch, that's fouled away. 0 oh and 2. I'm set to deal. On the ground, up the middle, gloved by the shortstop. The throw across is good. Nice job by Krupe, a 6-3 ground out. That'll bring up Graham Bolster, the center fielder. As 
was a slight timeout there by the umpire. Kime deals. Outside, 1-0. and Wind up and the pitch. And this is a pop-up above the head of the shortstop, calling everyone off, and will make the catch. Michael Krupe coming through. Two away. Will Mills to the plate, the left fielder. Wind up and the pitch. And there's a strike. And this is chopped into left field. The dive, and he made the, I believe, no, they're going to say it was a hit. It looked like it fell into his glove. But it might have hit the ground just before. And that is going to be a single. Good try there by Obed. Must have just hit the ground first. Had me fooled. Sam Cabot to the plate, wind up and the pitch, swinging strike. Oh and one. That is down low, runner taking off from first, throw to second, and the runner is safe. Stolen base for Mills. Inside. Wide up in the pitch. Upstairs. Kime set to deal. Fouled away, full count. Down low, Cabot draws the walk. Sean Mahan, the shortstop to the plate. And Pierce Kime will get a visit from head coach Derek Johnson. Well, if you're Ashland, you have two more games this week, so you wonder how much leeway they'll have with their starters, especially in a situation where they're up by seven. Perhaps maybe get the relievers in there. But for now, Kime's certainly more than likely going to stay in the game. It's a long extended discussion, which is about to be broken up by the umpire. Time from the stretch. And that's chopped foul. Both runners leading as that pitch is just outside. Throw to first, and they got him. What a throw by Jacobs. Picking off Cabot for the third out of the inning. And we will head to the bottom of the fifth. Post 77 leads Woburn 8 to 1.
Bottom of the fifth inning, four, five, and six for Ashland. Zach Jacobs, the catcher, stepping in. Post 77 hoping to continue their offensive momentum as this one is hit in the air, right side popped up, and Jacobs collided with the pitcher, Matt Coughlin, running down the line. Unintentional, but they're calling him out, it looks like. And head coach Derek Johnson doesn't like that call. And they are going to call him out. Well, you can't interfere with the uh, defensive players running down the line. So that's that call, one away. It looked unintentional, but certainly understandable. Typically the defensive players will uh, usually win in that situation. Mike Messier stepping in. That one up high. As this is hit in the air foul. Some warm up action for Ashland. Jake Obed getting loose. That pitch up high. And this is down the third base side, off the chest of the third baseman. And Messier is going to beat that one out. And that was just a. Uh, Bad bounce over to the third baseman. So you could rule out a single for Messier. Over at third base is Will Mills. As this is up the first base side, a good dive by the first baseman. He'll take it himself, and he will get Bates. A three unassisted there for the second out. Messier moves up to second. And now Andrew Keim to the plate. Our starting pitcher, Brian Gavostos over in left field for Woburn. Pitch in there for a strike. Swinging strike, 0 and 2. Well, Matt Coughlin is showing some pretty good stuff on the mound for Woburn. That's fouled away off the catcher. Looks like it got him right off the shoulder pad. And Gatcomb going to head over to the mound while the umpire cleans off home plate. Coughlin deals. Inside one and two. From the stretch, swinging strike, and there is out number three. We will head to the top of the sixth. Ashland leading Woober an eight to one. New pitcher for Ashland, post 77. Jake Obid moves over from left field to take over on the mound for his Holliston teammate, Andrew Keim. 
Kime moves over to left field. As the first pitch from Obid is outside, one and O. Oh. Kime and Obid both participants for the Holliston Panthers this season. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Obid set to graduate Holliston in 2017. Kime graduated this year. Play lift and the pitch. Down low outside. Two and one, Sean Meehan, the shortstop. As Mahan awaits the pitch. There it is, strike two. Seven, eight, and nine for Woburn in this top half of the sixth inning. Nice breaking pitch, but just outside. Full count. Well, you have to think if this game ends up going another half hour or so, you could have some light issues. As this is up the middle, takes a hop on the infield dirt in front of the plate. Throw to first is off the mark. And just got away from Babino. Mahan will reach on the air and throw from Obid. David English, the second baseman, will step in. And this is up the middle, slow roller on the infield. Grass picked up by Messier. Throw to first, good throw. And now over to second. And that is going to get into left field, but shallow left field and quickly bottled up by Kime. So English goes down six to three. Mahan moves up to second. Coleman began the right fielder to the plate. As Jacobs will have a discussion with Obid. And now head coach Dark Johnson going to come out to the mound as well. Coleman began is having a pretty good day at the play. One for one with an RBI and also walked. There's a strike. And we actually have a pinch hitter. Excuse me. I'll get you that info in just a moment. Wind up and the pitch down low. Swinging strike to Casey Ivester. Casey Ivester stepping in for Coleman began. That one down low. Two and one. Obid set to deliver to Ivester. Just outside. Ivester out of Woburn High School, set to graduate next year, 2017. Fouled away. Obid delivers. There's strike three, two away. Now do up is the leadoff hitter for Woburn. Matt Coughlin. And he will step in. Coughlin 
Coughlin taking over on the mound for Woburn. Took over in the fourth inning as Brian Gavosto struggled. Walked seven batters and ended up giving up eight runs in that fourth inning. Wind up and the pitch. And this takes a hop on the dirt in front of home plate. Good job by Messier gloving that one and a great throw to first. Mike Messier flashing the leather over at third base. Has had a number of great defensive plays in this game and that is the third out of the top of the six. To the bottom of the six we go. Post 77 leading Woburn eight to one. First pitch of the sixth inning is a fly out to center by Krupe, one away. That'll bring up Samir, or now we're gonna actually have a pinch hitter for Samir Sharma. Devin Del Campo will step in, set to graduate Ashland High School in 2018, takes strike one. That pitch up high, one and one. Ethan Tuminski due up on deck for post 77. He'll be stepping in for Jake Obid. That pitch down low. Matt Coughlin still on the mound for Woburn. Pitching pretty well in relief. Swinging strike. Wide up and the pitch, down low. That one up high, and that's ball four. Del Campo draws the walk, and that'll bring up the pinch hitter, Ethan Tominski. Minsky also set to graduate Ashland High School in 2018. Warm-up action as well for Ashland, so likely see a closer. That one up high, 1-0. One on, one out, four post 77 in the bottom of the sixth. Ashland looking for their third win of the season. And this is hit in the air to right field. That's going to drop down for a base hit. Lead runner heading over to third. And now we'll turn around, go back to second. And we'll get to second just before the second baseman realized that he was off the bag. But it is a single for Tuminski. Two on, one out. Mitch Porter to the plate. Coughlin from the stretch. Hit in the air, a high fly ball over to right field, ranging over and making the catch for the first out is Casey for the out, but pushing up to third is the lead runner, Devin Del Campo. So that'll put runners on the corners for Sean Babineau. Two outs in the inning. Casey Ivester, the new right fielder for Woburn. Came in a pinch hit for Coleman began last inning. From the stretch. Hit in the air, a nice piece of hitting over to center field, but position well is Graham Bolster, the center fielder, to make the catch for the third out of the bottom of the sixth. To the top of the seventh we go. Woburn down to their final three outs, trailing Ashland eight to one. Top half of the seventh inning, all kinds of positional changes for post 77. 
Taking over on the mound is Sean Babineau to close things out here. Ethan Tominski over at second base. The shortstop is Trevor DePeron as first pitch to Gavostos is outside. Mitch Porter moved over to right, Kime to center. Pretty much the whole diamond switched up for Ashland in this inning. Is that one down low? 2 and 0. Oh. Babineau delivers, fouled away. Two and one. Sean Babineau graduated Ashland High School this year. And that is up the right side, gloved by the first baseman, throw over to Babineau, nice play. No, they're gonna call him safe. Looked like it pulled Bates, the first baseman, off the bag and allowed Gavostos to reach. So an errant throw. Second Ashland error of the day. Fortunately, none of the errors have hurt him in this game so far. Line up and the pitch, fouled away. Oh and one to Mark Gatcomb. Line up and the pitch, just outside. Set to deliver, checking at first, and the runner nearly picked off. And I gotta be honest, from here it looked like he was. But ruled safe. Swinging strike, one and two. And there's strike three, one away. Ten hits for Woburn in this game. But despite those 10 hits, only one run scored. And get this statistic. Eight runs for Ashland on four hits as that bunt is strike one. And that was due to the fact that the Woburn starter, Gafostos, walked several batters in the fourth. So that one's fouled away. 0-2. Oh Walked the first three hitters, then a two RBI single to Jacobs. Then Messier walked. That loaded the bases again for Ashland with no outs. And then Ronan Bates walked. That drove in a run. Kime walked. That drove in another run. And then Krupe walked. Because that's fouled away. Which drove in another run. And then a two RBI hit by Jake Obid. Four runs, seven and eight in the eight run fourth inning for Ashland as that's fouled away off the catcher. And Jacob's gonna walk that one off. The umpire gonna head out, talk to Babino. I think just checking on everyone. And now a discussion with the umpire and head coach. Oh, and two on Bolster. And there's strike three. Two strikeouts for Babineau, two away. Will Mills will come up, left fielder. Woburn down to their final out of the game. 
As Ashland looking for their third win of the season. More than likely will improve to 3, 10, and 1 overall. There's a strike. Oh, and one to Mills. That one up high. One and one. Down low. Wind up in the pitch, swinging strike. Two and one. Runner leading off of first, Babino set to deal. And there is strike three and that will do it. I'm sorry, that was actually the 2-2 pitch, but he gets Mills three strikeouts for Babino to close out the top half of the seventh and help Ashland close out the victory as they defeat Woburn 8-1. Woburn scores one run on 10 hits, commits no errors, while Ashland scores eight runs on four hits, commits two errors. The first run of the game was scored by Woburn, and that happened in the top half of the second as Sam Cabot led off the inning with a single, and then after two outs, Coleman began, came to the plate, hit an RBI single to drive in Cabot. That was the first and only run for Woburn, but then on the bottom of the fourth, after starting off the game, going, getting Ashland to go one, two, and three in the first three innings, Gavostos just struggled in the fourth. Obid led off the inning with a walk, Mitch Porter then walked, Sean Babineau then walked. That loaded up the bases for Zach Jacobs. A two RBI single, drives an Obit and Porter. Messier comes up, he walks, that reloads the bases. Ronan Bates then walks, that drives in a run. Keim then walks, and that drives in another run. And then Krupe walks, that drives in another run. And then after reliever Matt Coughlin came into the game, Jake Obit had a two RBI single Two score runs, seven and eight. All eight runs charged to Brian Gavostos. Well, a good win here by Post 77 as they showed off some great defensive skill in this game. A lot of great plays, especially by Mike Messier, who just had a uh, tremendous day defensively. We'll give him the player of the game just for what he did out there defensively and the fact he went one for two at the plate and also walked. Great victory for Ashland Post 77. The young Ashland Legion team improves to 3, 10, and 1, while Woburn falls to 2 and 10. For Connor Donovan on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Ashland Legion Baseball on WACA TV in Ashland and HCAM Television in Hopkinton. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day, ladies and gentlemen.